Tonight, new funding to help train police statewide, making them and all of us safer. The chief of the Yarmouth Police Department helped lead the change for funding after one of his officers was murdered. WBZ's Bill Shields is live at the State House with more tonight. Bill? Dave, you know, just about every local police chief in this state for the last 25, 30 years has been trying to get the state to give them more money for police training. They just have the basic in-service training right now mandated by state law. They didn't have any extra money for specific kinds of training. I think we all know nowadays the police job is simply a lot more difficult than it was. So now the governor has signed this into effect so that they will get $10 million to be spread out among police departments to help for training. Yarmouth Police Chief Frank Fredrickson has spent countless hours trying to get money for advanced police training. Today, it paid off. The men and women who've been killed in the line of duty and their families. The governor signed a bill setting aside $10 million annually for municipal police training. You can only try to look forward and hope that this piece will make officers safer and better uh, ready for it tough situations. With the tragic deaths of two police officers in three months, many people started focusing on police safety and training. But until today, Massachusetts was nearly last in the nation in spending for police training. Now with $10 million annually, cops on the streets can get the training they need. And then it'll cover the specialized training uh, that we need. And I believe that the specialized training uh, will go a long way. It, it would cover everything from sexual assaults, uh, field training programs. You know, you don't want to think that police officer deaths had something to do with this. We've had four police officers killed in the line of duty in the last couple of years. But that has to come to the mind of legislators, we are told, and it's obviously on the mind of the public. So maybe that pushed it over the top. Reporting live from Beacon Hill, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.